everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a home decor haul. I'm so excited because anybody who knows me well knows that I've been obsessed <laughs> with home decor and design and stuff like for the last probably three to four months. Part of that was because I knew that I was moving here to Oregon um, and moving into Travis's house, which is now our house. And so I get to kind of have my hand at designing and decorating the place, which I've lived in rentals for the last six years down in California. So I couldn't quite put my home decor touch on things. You know what I'm saying? So now that I'm here in a house, I've really been going to town, you know, which can be tricky because home, decor and furniture can be very expensive and you kind of I feel like get in this headspace where you want to do it all at once for me anyway I get a vision and then I just want to do it all but that's not realistic so I've picked up some things here and there there's already some really awesome pieces that I've put in the house or that you know Travis has helped me put in like we've replace one of his light fixtures. I'm looking at a really cool brass and marble lamp we got from Target. I'm looking at a few other cool things, but this is the stuff that I've picked up in the last like week or so. So let's just dive in. First store I went to was Marshall's. This item in particular is a little boring, but let's just get it over with. It's a shower caddy. Woohoo! So it's like a silver chrome finish. We actually got another one of those big shower caddies that goes from the top to the bottom in like the corner of his shower. And he has a plastic one of these on his shower so anal me just wanted to have one that matched the one in the corner because yes I do have that many bath and body products that we need two caddies next thing for Marshall's is something that I already got some of these a few weeks ago right when I first moved here and I decided to pick one more up it is a clear jar with a copper rose gold lid I picked up six of these in like three different sizes small medium and large and I put pasta granola sugar flour like that type of thing and I arranged them on the counter since we don't really have a pantry here it's a little easier I thought to put the foods that we use a lot like out on the counter in these really decorative jars I wanted to pick up another one it's literally two dollars and it's so cute I love it and this one I'm gonna put almonds in so yeah next I picked up this little pencil holder it's just kind of a light rustic wood with some brass finishes this was five dollars we need something for the kitchen just to have like pens pencils um, a pair of scissors in and this kind of fits the rest of my theme most everything in there is like marble and then like rose gold and there's a few kind of more like what's the word I'm looking for like brass looking things rather than the rose gold look but that fits in with the decor theme and then I just couldn't help myself we do have coasters for the household but I saw this pair and I thought it was really cute and they're really cheap too hold on let me try to get this untied well maybe it won't come untied but it's a set of four marble coasters is that showing up on camera here so there are these nice, heavy, sturdy marble coasters. It was only $6 for four of these. And I've seen marble coasters, they're everywhere. Marble's very trendy right now. So like Target or some of my other like go-to stores you would think would be cheap. And they are more expensive than $6. And these actually feel really pretty. There we go, there's one of them. They feel really pretty and sturdy. And I thought these would be nice for like the bedroom, for like, I have a little office-y beauty room. Um, you know just around the house to have marble coasters because the other set I showed in my last vlog video and it's these Portland ones super cute but I added the marble so that was everything from Marshall's then I went over to home goods the first item that caught my eye was this big tray it's really big you can see that it kind of has a very rustic -y farmer style like it's very chip and joanna Gaines to me i don't know if you can really see it's like that light colored wood and it's a really good size this tray i got for our coffee table now it is a little big for our coffee table but i just like the idea of having things be organized you know i have we have a candle that we always keep out in the living room i have my little jonathan adler match container the remotes coasters just something to keep everything organized and I thought this one was really pretty there was a different one I wanted to get at world market but it was like $35 and this guy was 15 so I figured it was a really good steal I've kind of been a bit tray obsessed recently I have a lot of trays but I like them they keep things looking nice and organized so I don't want to rant about this for too long but let me just quickly say you know how at Marshall's and home goods they're the type of stores where if you see something you really should just buy it because 
they have different stuff all the time. Well, I was there a couple weeks ago and they had all these rose gold cooking utensils, like a bunch of sets of them. And they were like $10 and I was like, oh, perfect. I'm gonna come back and get those when my marble utensil canister comes in, which is something else that I picked up recently. So I got a marble utensil canister and my thought was once that comes in, I'm gonna go get these rose gold utensils. Well, I go back and they had none, none which I guess I should have known better, but it just seemed like they had so many that it wouldn't be an issue. Not only did they have none of the rose gold, they only had one of this set, which this is gold. Now don't get me wrong, I like the gold, and I'm also okay with mixing things a little bit. I think you'll drive yourself crazy if you're just like, everything has to be exactly the same shade of rose gold or the same shade of like, it's just not realistic, and so you have to kind of let go and just, let things kind of, they still look good together. Do you know what I'm saying? But I was really on the fence about this because I don't know. I kind of got a little OCD in that moment of like, but I want the rose gold utensils to match the rose gold canister and the rose gold fruit bowl that I got. And you know, but then they only had one set of this and I was like, well, what if I don't buy this? And then they don't have any pretty colored utensils. So I just bought it. It was only $10 and it has five different things like slatted spoons and a spatula and a soup spoon. So I don't know, I think they're still cute and pretty. I'm tempted to swing back by and see if they got the rose gold back in stock. But if not, my Monica Geller inside of me will just have to shut up and deal with the gold ones because they're pretty too. The last thing I got at Home Goods I thought was so cute, it's a set of dish towels. Um, it's by the Cynthia Rowley brand and they're white and it says you're one in a melon. And it came with two of the exact same one, which I kind of wish they were like different, like one was like a different watermelon pattern maybe and they were just complimentary. But I think that's so stinking cute and it'll be hard to keep a really crisp white dish towel clean but I guess that's why you have two. Next I will quickly do Target because I just got a couple of things. I actually did get some dishes but those are boring so we just got new like white crisp clean dishes. But I did get a rose gold, shocking, copper, rose gold, what do you guys call this? could go either way. This is a napkin holder. Just very simple, but um, Travis didn't like the napkin holder he had, so I thought this one was better and cuter. And then we desperately needed something to sort out our mail and stuff, because I think it's really easy to just come home, check the mailbox, and throw it on the table, and then it gets kind of chaotic. So this guy was from the Nate Burkus collection, and it's this like hammered brass letter sorter. So there's like three little slats in there, and you can put your mail. So Travis, if you're watching this, this is our new mail holder. Please don't put it on the table. Please put it in here until we sort it. <laughs> There's an example right there of like the brass and the copper, like they're not the exact same shade, but you just gotta let go. And you know, they're still both really cute. The next items are kind of random, but I had a world, no, not World Market, that's my favorite store. I had a Williams Sonoma gift card from work, from my last job back in California that I just hadn't spent yet. And then I randomly saw that Etsy had, or I'm sorry, not Etsy, Ebates had 10% cash back at Williams Sonoma and like free shipping and I was like, well this is perfect. This is the moment to use this gift card that I've kind of been hoarding. So I go on their website and I'm just playing around. It was only like $25 gift card so you can't really get that much at Williams Sonoma there. But I did pick us up some summer goodies. Their margarita mix was on sale, ladies and gentlemen. So I got two bottles um, from the Skinny collection. So they had regular and then skinny. So I got the skinny bottles of the spicy key lime. Travis loves him a spicy margarita. And I figured that that would be nice to have. It's a really good size bottle. It's one freaking liter. So we have two of those. And we also had this little trio. So with all these items, it, I think I ended up paying like $2 out of my own pocket on top of the gift card, plus I got 10% cash back. It was awesome. This one is also from the Skinny Collection. Let me face these the right way, just because I'm anal. So this guy has the regular key lime, so just like original, ooh, Teddy, the original flavor. Then it has mango passion fruit, and then it has spicy pineapple habanero. So again, I thought Travis would love that spiciness. I thought it would be fun to have a little bit of a variety, and it'll, you know, the party is popping over at our place for the summer. Of course, they don't include the alcohol in them, but we got that covered. Okay, last place is my favorite place, probably, or at least at the moment, my favorite decor place, which is World Market. I just got a few bits, but there's plenty more on my wish list. 
first I got this copper little trivet. Super cute. World Market's prices are actually pretty reasonable, especially for little trinkety stuff. This was $7 and yeah, how cute. So if we're serving dinner where we do it like family style, you know, for the two of us, um, and we put like whatever pot of food we just made and put it on different trivets and lay it out and people just wanna grab what they want out of it, I thought this would be really cute because I also got a marble trivet, which I showed in my last vlog over there. That was a lot of ramble to tell you that I got this really cute copper trivet. Sticking to the rose gold copper theme, I got these little measuring teaspoons. I actually have this exact thing from World Market of the actual like measuring cups. So I wanted to get the matching teaspoon set and Travis doesn't have any teaspoons because yeah, he doesn't exactly like bake, but I do. So, or I like to. So I got those. That's only like five bucks. Oh no, I lied. $7, but still not bad. Then I got this little set of doorknobs or what are those called? Yeah, little knobs. So they kind of have like a gold brass around the edge and then kind of like a cool white in the middle. I thought those would be cute to replace Travis's two nightstands. They're very simple and I like them, but I thought this would add a cool little touch. These were like $3 each, $4 each. The last two items are really heavy and maybe one of my favorite out of everything that I got. We have a marble paper towel holder. I feel like this light in this camera is really washing all this stuff out, but you guys know what marble looks like, obviously, right? So it's really like sturdy, it's real marble. So it's really nice and you know, it's just a simple, nice paper towel holder, but it's gonna go with the rest of the marble rose gold theme. So there's that guy. This one was $12.99, not bad. And then I got this, which is a big marble Lazy Susan. And I thought this would just be so cute for the coffee table to keep like the paper towel or whatever that is, napkin holder on. I have these really cute Disneyland trash can salt and pepper shakers. And you know, just to have, I don't know, I love marble, I couldn't say no to it. This one was $16.99, so also not too shabby. Okay, that completes everything in this home decor haul. Let me know if you like this video by giving me a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. I absolutely love home decor and watching home decor videos, watching design videos. Like I said, I've been obsessed with it lately. So if you wanna see more of this type of thing, let me know down below, cause I am happy to do that. So I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. P.S. Subscribe if you wanna make my day. Okay, thanks, love you, bye.